while the event is called Carpe Diem Seize the Day. And it's coming Saturday, June 23rd for a very good cause. With us right now, uh, we say hello first off to Karen Fisher, the chair of Fisher Family and Friends. Nice to have you on our program, Karen. Thank you for having us. And I know you've got a story to tell. We'll get into that story in a second. Okay. Anita Comfort as well, committee member, Fisher Family and Friends. Hello, Anita. Hi. Also a nurse. Yes. So you know a few things about seizures and epilepsy yeah. and all this <laughs> fun stuff. Hey, Karen, tell us about Fisher Family and Friends. Fisher and Family and Friends has a bit of a story. Uh, Ten years ago, we came together as a very small event. We started off with a cake and coffee at uh, the Elmont General Hospital and started out just looking for some support and finding new hopes for epilepsy. Mm -hmm. And we've grown now to, over the years, we've now grown into a, an event in March and now this one in June where we're um, raising money to find hope for epilepsy advancements in research. Okay, because uh, you have or do suffer with this condition? I have had epilepsy since I was 11 months old. Um, I grew out of my, I actually had a major one in 11 months old and at that point... A major one what? A major seizure, okay. sorry. A major convulsive seizure. I was out for over 25 minutes and they weren't sure if I was going to make it and so I've lived my life with uncontrolled seizures up until 10 years ago with a very much a roller coaster ride in those years I was misdiagnosed to the point of over 20 different drug trials to try and find hope mm. to control my seizures which weren't controlled and 10 years ago I was finally referred to the uh, London team in London Ontario through Western and the clinical neurological sciences program mm -hmm. and that's actually where we're raising our money for and they were able to actually determine where my seizures were firing within my brain mm. and we're actually able to remove my left temporal lobe to stop my seizures. Wow. So I've been very, very blessed to be 10 years seizure free. You've been through some stuff. Been through some stuff. There was lots of challenges with that. I hit a very clinical depression after the surgery because the part of the brain they took controlled emotions and memory. So I struggle mm -hmm. with some memory things, but with a major support team behind me, I keep going. Uh, it has never stopped me from my Fisher family and friends. That's what they're for. <laughs> and here you are on TV <laughs> talking all about it and, and helping others. That's it's amazing. what we want. So That's thank you. Okay. So Anita, as a nurse, obviously, I mean, you know what epilepsy is all about. So maybe mm. give us give us the gist here. Epilepsy is a chronic neurological disease. Um, there's 40 types of seizures that can be broken down essentially into two parts. Um, one that can uh, affects the whole part of the whole brain and then partial which affects just parts of the brain and it's essentially your electrical misfires in your brain um, and part of finding out where it's firing from is mm -hmm. how they figure out how to treat it okay so what are some of the statistics I mean how, how prevalent is this uh, there's 95,000 yeah. um, that are affected by in Ontario alone mm. Um, seventy percent are controlled by medications. The other thirty percent are intractable, which means they're not controlled. So there's other ways of controlling it, such as a keto diet, CBD oil, um, and surgery. Okay, June twenty third, you have, uh, and I love to play on words here, I guess, because it's carpe diem, which means seize the day. Why yes. is it called carpe diem? It is called Carpe Diem because we are, it is based in carp, okay. so we kind of link the two. <laughs> <laughs> and I love that, okay, that's a lot of fun, of course, seize the day because of seizures. And it's a very, that's right. it's a very, I love, you must have put a lot of work into thinking up this title. We, that title, the seize the day title has been used for, we've been doing a crop a scrapbooking fundraiser in March every mm -hmm. year for the last, uh, we're going on our third year. And we started with Seize the Day on that. Yeah. And then when we moved this event into CARP, we said, oh, we got to add something to this. So we moved, we started adding the Carpe Diem okay. for this event. And yeah. it's just got meaning to those of us who've had seizures. We, it's a play on words. It mm, really is. Of course. So the Agricultural Hall, hall is where it's taking place. So what can yes. people look forward to throughout the course of the day? It's going to be a fun-filled evening. We've got uh, a ca full catered dinner. Uh, it's going to be a beef and chicken dinner with all the fixings, of course. And then we actually have a live auctioneer coming in, and we will be doing some live auctioning some items, and we will also have a silent auction going on. Mm -hmm. And there's phenomenal prizes that have been donated towards our fundraiser. That's good. Okay, so an evening event. Um, and Anita, so if people are looking for more uh, assistance, how can people be helped a little further? Epilepsy Ontario is really good. Um, 
basically dealing with epilepsy um, is not just epilepsy it comes with anxiety depression your life is being taken over by a chronic disease the support around you um, I'm part of Integrity Healthcare Consultants, so we can navigate and advocate and um, point people in the right direction in order for them to gain the support that they need. Okay. Now, now Karen, so you say 10 years without a seizure? I've been 10 years without a seizure. So, so how is life these days? Life is totally amazing. Yeah. I couldn't imagine going back. I wasn't able, there was just a lot of factors. I couldn't drive. I couldn't do a lot of things. I was under the care of family, and even after my surgery, I was very lucky that the team at Western continued to follow me. I went into a clinical depression, and they had almost, mm -hmm. uh, I guess you could say, had written me off, hadn't expected me to be able to come through it because medications weren't working even for the depression in the clinical mm -hmm. stages of it. So I was very, very, very fortunate that with some amazing friends and family who still mm -hmm. today stand behind me, yeah. Uh, just they make it happen. Fisher and, family and friends. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a lot of family and friends that's to good. that. I sh certainly couldn't do these events alone. And that's wonderful. Carpa DMC is the day, Saturday, June 23rd, Carp Agricultural Hall. Uh, thank you very much, Karen, for sharing your story. That's thank you for the event. And Anita as well, thank you for being thank here. You. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Check out our YouTube channel. Always something waiting for you right there. Have a good day.